good evening and a merry christmas to all of you i take this opportunity to bring before you a short message on the transformative reasons behind the birth of our lord jesus christ even when we were watching through the skit we could see uh, all the incredible artificial intelligence achievements and we all are aware about many things i think when i was browsing through the web i could see uh, there are five things that came up as a uh, incredible artificial intelligence achievement but one of the recent achievement was the vaccine that was developed with ai and the whole world knows about it but at the same time there were few failures by ai and uh, maybe amazon they developed a recruiting software and which was a failure and the list goes on the about the fatalities uh, the accidents that caused by uber in usa where the self driving cars were uh, going through heavy accidents so in this era of ai when i come to the message of this evening i just want to bring five things before you when it comes to the first message of the bible about the birth of christ the bible says in luke's gospel verses chapter 2 verse 11 and uh, these are the words that was spoken by the angel it says do not be afraid i bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people so the first notation was to bring out Uh, keep away the fear from your life and this humanity or the people around the globe they go through different kind of fears in the past today and it will be there in the future and with all the developments of technology in this world ai is helping so many wars across this world and you may be aware of many wars uh, the the recent war that is happening between israel and palestine and we all know about the war that is going on between india and pakistan even watching cricket and the war that is happening in the middle east and because i come from sunabeda from odisha where the mig aircraft is uh, manufactured and the uh, uh, engine for is also manufactured and before one year i was shocked to hear the death of uh, the chief of the uh, army naval and air force of india and he was none other than mr bipin rawat and his death was on one of the safest flight that is it's the mi17 that that belongs to russia and the indian army had uh, brought that for our chief of the army official and it was carrying bipin rawat from chennai to bangalore and this incident happened so there's a fear there's a fear in the society and we can name it like the fear of loan or the fear of future or the fear of sickness also but man is finding the human race is finding tough to uh, find a solution for fear and if we really have a answer for this is there a solution for fear and the angels declared on the first birth of christ the day fear not people they lived in fear without hope and future until the birth of christ there was fear all around lord jesus was born to transform fear into a living faith and you all are aware about the company ford which was stung by a uh, two, 2 billion accumulated loss and it affected more than 4000 employees you know it's a it's a fear factor that came upon the ford company and at the right time christ was born to end all of our fear this is the first message of christmas that is very clear to us that he came to transform fear into a living faith as introduced i work in the tribal areas and i just wanted to show one snap of the tribal village where i was i was working in 2019 and when the first wave of covid came 
we we went with very few limited training about dealing the first stage of covid and we could treat around 99 villages in tribal belts of eastern ghats starting from arku valley that area and we could find out that the people who died because of covid they were dying more because of the fear factor and because of the counseling we could save 99 lives in five villages none of them died and i am not a doctor by profession but i can clearly say before you that it was the counseling given to them that you should not be afraid so basically faith in christ transforms fear that's the first thing the second thing is human evil human evil and the bible says christ jesus came into the world to save sinners sinners so that's the reason christ jesus came into this world and man is born sinful but how do we change a man there is nothing no, not a process or not a medication that will change a man but bible says the problem is within ourselves jesus said out of the heart comes evil out of the heart comes evil and the angel says on the birth of christ that he shall save his people from sin i had been to uh, the parliament to just uh, watch like a uh, visitor a tourist and i was told by my friend who is a officer there that every mp and mla have to go through a security check it is about indian parliament and you know what has happened recently but have you ever wondered if you are traveling for 30 days in the flight every day you will be checked there is nothing no device that will give you a license that you not you don't need security check why all these things are happening when we are flying because of the evil that is present in the society you know what albert einstein he says it is easier to denature plutonium then it is to denature the evil spirit of man this was told by albert einstein you know it is from the heart that we vomit up evil arguments murders adulteries fornication thefts lies and cussings you know this is taken from the message version and there's a old saying that says like this so a thought and reap a action so an action reap a habit so a habit reap a character so a character and you reap your destiny lord jesus christ was born to transform sinners into saints you know that was the message of his birth thirdly human death with all the advancement of medical science why do people die everyone will die some day death comes to godly and sinful people alike it comes to good and bad people alike it comes to clean and unclean people alike it is there in the bible from the book of ecclesiastes 9th chapter and second verse most people live as if they are not going to die ever especially the young people it is very difficult to tell them that life has a end and you are going to die one day so you be careful and recently as you can see in the screen there is a big wake up call for bollywood even as the celebs they opt for extreme steps they end up their life in a very uh, a ripen young age and these celebrities they die sometime before time what is the solution for this the bible says jesus was born to die it was clearly mentioned in the bible that he will live he will he will die and not only that he will show us a way for the eternal life bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his only and one son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life lord jesus transformed death into a new life after death 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 is there in every society people believe there is death but lord jesus came to transform death into a new life after death you know every day we open our accounts with 1440 minutes 160 hours per week and an average indian man lives 70 years and 3 months an average indian woman lives 70 years and 6 months and the life is very short every morning time bank deposits 86400 seconds in our life for a day it's the quality of life not the length that's the reason jesus lived only 33 years only 33 years and there are many religious books that speaks about life and death but it is the it is only the holy bible 
that speaks about life and life after death so this is the third thing and fourthly there's a human desire for true love people they are longing for true love in the society and the bible says that god created our two original parents in his own image that we find in the bible in the first book of the bible and every now and then people the uh, the the leaders of the society they say that there were two original parents and bible names them adam and eve why what is the reason god created man and woman and the bible says it was god's desire to reveal his character to mankind and jesus had to be born because adam and eve failed to carry out god's mandate to glorify him in their lives it was left for the son of god after thousands of year to ultimately fulfill the divine revelation of god's character and purpose for man that is loving god alone you know jesus is the true image of true love he is the image of true love for centuries he has been the source of real transformation of numerous communities the somebody said that the greatest symbol of love is not a heart which we know but it's a cross it was it was told by a non christian and whenever we see a cross we remember that it is the greatest sacrifice of love in the world allowing god's love to flow through us and transforming not only our lives but also the lives of others this was the transformation that was set by lord jesus and as the humanity is craving for love in a in a love story please mind my words in a love story there is always a mediator and to my surprise when i was uh, thinking about a mediator you know the the recent war that is happening between israel and hamas there was no country that was ready for a negotiation but there was only one nation qatar it started a negotiation and no nation even though they are trying to stop the war they can stop the war but qatar stopped for four days there was a truce and why do i say this we need a mediator to stop the war and we need a mediator to bring peace in this world and i want to say that jesus became the true mediator between us and the father the father in heaven by displaying his love on the cross and he transformed hatred into love he transformed hatred in society into love and finally finally jesus became the transformed sacrifice coming from a hindu family and born in a indian society i know what sacrifice means for a hindu boy and christmas story starts with shepherds you know it's it's surprising that when you go to the manger you see that there are shepherds around in the christmas story when you go near a cradle and when you go near a christmas decoration you find sheep and shepherds what is the reason for the shepherds and the shepherds were tending the sheep for sacrifice we know for generation maybe for for every uh, other religion of this world that there is a sacrifice that is needed for our sins and when the bible speaks about shepherds and the sheep who received the first message of christ birth when it comes to sheep you know many many people think about hyderabad and they think about sheep they think about halal hyderabadi biryani okay but it was not like that for the first shepherds these are the shepherds who used to uh, prepare their sheep for somebody's sin and these sheep will be sacrificed on behalf of somebody's life and bible says without shedding of blood there is no remission of sin so every religion teaches about sacrifice there were many sacrifices people used to sacrifice animals in thousands for their sins and when nothing was sufficient jesus was born as a true sacrifice he sacrificed for me in the year 1999 when i was going through this pada yatra and somebody said that you need not go through all kind of tough things in your life walking 60 kilometers for a day but lord jesus has already given a sacrifice for you by dying on the cross he was born to die for our sins and he became a transformed form of sacrifice for our sins may god help you to understand and may god bless you through the birth of christ in your heart and in your lives thank you